Hi, in this experiment, we're going to try to confuse your brain. This experiment is called the Stroop Test. It was invented in 1935 by a psychologist named John Ridley Stroop. And what he discovered is that, well, let's just go ahead and try the experiment. And then we'll, then I think you'll understand what he discovered. We're going to be studying color. And all I'm going to ask you to do is read a list of words and time yourself on how fast you can read them. Are you ready? Get your timer ready. Set it to zero. Okay, I'm going to hold up a paper. The paper will have six words written on them. Each word is written in a different color. All I want you to do is to read the word. That's it. Just read the word and time yourself. Ready? Get set. Go! That wasn't too hard, was it? We see... We use words all the time. There are lots of nerve connections to that part of our brain, which happens to be on the left side of your brain. And color is viewed in the front of your brain. And when you see, you see in the back of your brain. So different parts of your brain do different things. Now I'm gonna give you the exact same list again, except this time, I'm going to ask you to read the color. Again, I'm going to ask you to read the color of each word. So there are six words. Each word is written in a different color. Tell me the color. Are you ready? Get your timer ready. Here we go. How long did that one take you? I'll bet it took longer than reading just the words. When we see that the words are written in a different color, it confuses our brain and it slows us down and makes us stop, have to almost stop and think what we're seeing. And that's what the Stroop effect does. And it is studied by psychologists all over the world. It's one way of confusing your brain. We have some other confusing things for you to see uh, in the following videos. So we hope you enjoyed the Stroop test. What I think I would like you to try to do is to do an experiment. Who can read faster? Who can do the test better? Girls or boys? Children or adults? So you can come up with your own idea for an experiment with the Stroop test. Good luck. <laughs>